morning guys, it's around half past seven. Welcome to Supercars of London and uh, the London to Edinburgh challenge. One tank of fuel that we will pick up here and uh, we'll film how many litres it is and how expensive it is. And then the challenge is to get to Edinburgh on one tank of fuel. Good boy racing over there. One tank of fuel, there's gonna be no racing in this car. I hope there's no tunnels. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do an hourly update. Every single hour, do an update of uh, the journey, how many miles we've got left in the range, the MPG, and maybe I'll have a chat with you guys as well about how the car feels on a long trip. So um, let's go and get some fuel. Ready to go. Nearly 70 litres, which means there's about 20 in there already. Time to pay. Update number one is 8 o'clock in the morning. Exactly 8 o'clock. So we started about 10 minutes ago on 360 miles, which I was wowed about already, the fact that we had filled it up that much. We've been driving for less than 10 minutes on cruise control with the air conditioning off. Nothing else really going apart from us just plodding along with cruise control. We're on 390 miles of range. So we've got 485 miles. Our real time MPG is 27.5, which isn't bad and um, the windscreen is still steamed up but we're going strong maximum speed of 40 now even better for fuel economy cutting in at 10 past 9 with 500 miles we've got 500 mile range i'm taking the camera and showing you 500 mile range on the audi r8 500 miles oh. 4.2 litre V8, 500 mile range. And we've been going like for nearly two hours. Ooh. <laughs> hey guys, it's the 10 a.m. update. We peaked around 20 miles ago, around 500, 510 mile range, which was ridiculous. We also broke the MPG range. That's just sort of blanked out after 45 miles and then was flickering between like 70, 90 and 200 MPG. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a few um, MPG updates, but we're around Mansfield, which I have no idea where that is. We're coming into another 50 mile an hour speed check. So back down on the cruise control. Quick update, it's 10.38 in the morning and the oil, minimum oil light has come on in my car, which is typical. Audi R8s are known for drinking a lot of oil or using a lot of oil, which means that we're gonna be forced to make a pit stop. Uh, it'll be used as a re-energize brake, probably get some more Red Bull to keep me awake. We've been going for just over three hours. Manchester is on our left. The junction for Manchester is on our left. We are 26 miles away from Leeds. So we're heading up north slowly but surely. My fuel range has 475 miles left. 475 miles left, which is um, baffling. I don't know if we can get back down to London, Edinburgh and back with one tank of fuel. It's time that we stop, have a bit of um, food, try and get ourselves, my stomach is rumbling all the time. And I'm, st so I'm starving, I'm feeling quite tired. I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to drive anymore. We're now at midday. Hopefully there's not going to be two more of these updates to go, but the fuel range is saying 435 miles. I don't even know where we are in the country in terms of miles up to Edinburgh and miles that we've already done. All I know is we're at junction 45 and it says Oatly. And we, I know that we've gone past York and Leeds. I know that we've gone past York and Leeds. 
time for an unfortunate check-in at half past one. We have been going uh, probably for about 45 minutes in the wrong direction. <laughs> Can you believe it? And we found traffic. Um, it's all going wrong. We've had to put the sat nav on in my car for the first time. Um, basically, the two main roads fork off, one to the straight up and one to the right, and we've carried on going right. Too focused on how many miles to the gallon we were doing and how much time and how much how many miles we've got left. We found traffic. We were too indulged in how many miles we had left that we forgot that we were going off to Newcastle. One minute later, we've had a discussion off camera and realised that we're not so badly off route. We're actually um, just confusing ourselves looking at the maps. So I think it's the tiredness that's getting to our head more than anything. Angel of the North. Never seen it before. into Edinburgh whether we have taken a wrong turn or not the sat nav is telling us the way to go we're going through a speed camera all I, I hope we haven't got caught we were doing like 35 slammed on my brakes when we went around the corner there was a hidden speed camera which um, scared the life out of me so I'm praying that there's no speeding ticket in the post but we're doing we're doing 25 miles an hour and we've got 91 miles left my fuel range is now saying 280 miles. If we've got an, if we've got like 90 miles of this, which is an hour and a half driving, this is going to be a slow end to what I thought was going to be a very, very easy win for me. But that um, serves me right for getting ahead of myself. Another, another village, 20 mile an hour bend. This can't be the quickest way to Edinburgh from London. We'd, we've got lost somewhere, and the Sanav is um, fixing our wrongs, fixing our wrongdoings. But we're going through no animals in the park. Like, does everyone in this town have like animals as pets? Like, walking around with goats. This is surely, this is surely the wrong way. We're stuck on a country road, three o'clock in the afternoon, 67 miles away from Edinburgh the slowest last 30 miles I've ever experienced. We're now stuck at like some road work traffic lights on a country lane, losing the will to live. Oh, but here we go, here we go, we're moving, we're moving. We did get stuck behind a tractor as well, but it quickly turned off. Um, are we going? It's the first red light, oh my God. Three-way control. How is it possible to have? Uh, it's probably one coming back the other way for cars, and then one left and right for animals. <laughs> can you go imagine the sheep and cows just waiting at this side of the bushes for the green light to go? I can imagine that that's probably what happened. To it. <laughs> it's now four o'clock. <laughs> Absolutely shattered. 22 miles away from Edinburgh. 210 miles left on the fuel range. And the weather has just been non-stop persistent downpour. There's, like we've just been on single carriage country lanes. The spray's been awful. The, the water's going over to the road and it's just, it's just 
spraying up, there's just huge plumes of water coming off from the car in front. Luckily there is a car in front, otherwise I wouldn't know where the puddles are and I don't know the road. But we're in Scotland, we're 22 miles away from Edinburgh. I can almost smell victory, but I'm so tired and the, the, we have just taken the ultimate back road to, to Scotland. It's tiring, put it that way. We stopped at about half past 11 in Huddersfield and we're now just south of Edinburgh. So we had a, we've had a good old run. The car's done me more than proud. Brilliant, brilliant fuel economy. Can't believe it, we've, well now we're coming up to a dual carriageway. This is the first dual carriageway that we've had in I don't know how long well over a hundred miles. It's been single carriage for a hundred miles. We're gonna have one more update or maybe we're just gonna do the arriving because it's four o'clock and it's saying that we're gonna arrive at 4.30. So I'm absolutely shattered. I thought this video was gonna be a lot more intense than the nervousness of arriving with 20 miles of fuel left. I thought that was what was gonna keep me going but because it's just been so easy, we're on 200 miles. Final check-in, the sat-nav is telling us to turn off the M9, we have 190 miles on the fuel range, we've just dipped below the half mile range, check it out, okay. there we go, so there we go, 9 hours driving, 1 stop, a lot of eco driving, We've made it, we've made it to Edinburgh. The hotel is somewhere. There's a McDonald's there. It's just up here. We have a McDonald's next to our hotel. And no, before you ask, I don't have shares of McDonald's the amount of times I go there. Right, where are we going, where are we going, where are we going? Turn left. No, because I put, I put New Bridge Road and then put the actual road. Quick tip for how you can lengthen your nine hour drive even more. Miss the junction to your hotel. We've literally just uh, gone another junction which has killed about 25 miles of fuel. And uh, we're heading back and now the airport is 10 miles away so that gives you an indication of the um, journey that we've just done. We've just added 20 miles to our journey by missing a junction and I'm soaking wet trying to look to see where we would be going. So we're now at five o'clock. I don't really know what to say. The, uh, the motorway system in Scotland, where our hotel is positioned within two or three junctions of three different motorways, we have now experienced going 10 miles past our hotel by missing a junction to have to come 10 miles back to then have three different options on to get to our business park where the hotel is in. Guess what happened? Yeah, we're still in the car. We're going back into the centre of Edinburgh. We're losing fuel, 160 miles of fuel. I really don't know what to say. I was saying at the beginning of the video, like, whether we regret coming up here. But nine and a half hours in, having missed our turn off twice, and doing two hours of single carriageway looking at sheep. <laughs> it's got to the point now where I've had enough. This is by far the most difficult hotel that we have found, but we have made it. And our fuel range is saying, 150 mile range and we've done it easily 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 we got lost about four times we've done about 75 miles extra I reckon we've done nearly 500 miles today 500 miles today and uh, it is time to get this video uploaded thank you for watching Proof that 
that you can drive an Audi R8 sensibly and get very, very far on fuel, further than you need to, actually. Make sure you subscribe to Supercars of London. Tomorrow is going to be mental. Gumball 3000 comes to Edinburgh, and we're driving down to Manchester, and then we're driving down to London. So um, I hope to see as many of you um, there as possible. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I'll keep them coming. There's going to be a lot more Supercars coming very, very soon. Cheers, guys. Bedtime.